16, 16. Didn't lose anyone, which is great. Ran out of smoke grenades, of course. Scavenger. Alright. Let's make flying suits. Maybe a dozen or so. That should be enough to kit out everyone with the suit and have a few spares. Maybe 15. Then we don't have to worry about them later. Uh, smoke grenades? We can refill on smoke grenades. Smoke grenades. There we go. 40. Two feet soldier plus an extra set for the breaches. Very small retaliation in Africa. Why are you going to Africa? Where do you not make it to Africa? No, interfered of course. Okay. Kabam! Oh, it's a very small. So like it has no guns and it dies instantly, essentially. The only way to guarantee that you don't destroy it accidentally is to like use the smallest possible um, weapon in the game, which is absolutely pathetic and you should basically never use any real combat. Okay, that... Did it slow down or am I miscalculating? Oh, this thing flies a bit faster than I thought, okay. Fair enough. Get him. Kabam! Wait, this is a very small as well. God damn it. I mean, destroying your foes is fun and all, but... Haha! <laughs> the engineers are arriving. So you might think, you enterprising XCOM players at home, you might think, man, that's a lot of engineers. And you have like two hangars, and you're getting more engineers and more workshops. I guess you want to build some ships. You're not completely wrong, but in reality, Right now, I just want to make a shit ton of money building fancy tech and then selling it off. So I think laser cannons are like one of the best for selling. They don't require any special resources and they sell for pretty good money. Versus um, how long it takes to make them. I thought I could go infinite by going below one, but I don't know. Maybe that was a different version. Because I used to play this without Open XCOM back in the day. No engineers here yet. Okay, that's fine. And, um. Shit! I forgot it was the end of the month. We're in debt. And the UK. That battleship that landed there? Or. I think it was the battleship that landed there? Yeah, it, it uh. It infiltrated the government. <laughs> Whoops. And I need to get out of debt. Oh, that's a shitload of debt. Holy shit. Okay, well, let's sell a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> Otherwise, all of our... Um, manufacturing is going to immediately stop. Which is obviously absolutely awful. Where did our small launches go? Why do I have two? Did I accidentally sell them? I feel like I might have. Oh man, we need to sell a lot of stuff. Uh, Alright, let's sell like a lot of navigation. That helps a lot. Couple power sources, there we go. Uh, a few more heavy plasmas and a few more clips. Perfect. Like nothing happened. Alien base, Southeast Asia, Alien Retaliation, North America. Where's the other one? 
Antarctica, you don't have a craft yet. Fair enough. I forgive you. Um, this one's going to Southeast Asia. We'll intercept that with Xeno. Uh, it's not the path I expected him to take. And this fellow is going to North America very slowly. South America. What the hell? There are so many UFOs. Okay, go for that one first. South America. Wait, how fast is it going? It's going really slow. That's weird. Alright, well... Let's deal with all of these at the same time and make it really confusing. Wait, there's no craft in South America? Shit. Well, Butt Destroyer will save the day. Uh, it's a small, so it's not the one that's gonna be um doing the work. And this UFO is outflying us, out outflying us, outspeeding us. Uh, we're gonna get the Avenger to go on that one, and I'll get the uh, I'll get Reno, Zeno, Zeno, Zeno. I'll get Zeno to go for the other guy. I'm just gonna target the UFO. I, I don't really have the mental capacity to juggle four simultaneous interceptions. Come on buddy, you're faster than him. Oh, almost so close. There we go. Oops. <laughs> okay, that was unfortunate. Oh, we might be able to get it over the small island. Bam. We might accidentally destroy it though. Oh, crash lands. And since it's an Avenger, we can immediately start the mission. Isn't that great? I think that's pretty great. <laughs> it's very convenient. Being able to shoot down the UFO and like immediately start the mission so that it's much easier to manipulate. Um, Daytime, nighttime. Well, it's right next to us, that makes it easy. What do we got? Nothing. There's no aliens here at all. <laughs> okay. Well, that's boring. What about this way? Show me the world. There's nothing there, what the hell? Maybe I just, like, crapped on these aliens too hard. Also forgot about the smoke grenade thing. So these four are at the front of the queue, but for some reason they're back there. I'm thinking I'm thinking tanks have priority, so like obviously they're at the front. And then it fills up these two columns of people and then it fills up the sides. So that that looks about correct because these guys are all squaddies. And the guys at the back are sergeants. So... Might need to... Rethink how I'm doing this. I could just not take the tanks. I mean, there's, there's no aliens. I guess we can be pretty aggressive with our... Wandering around. Unless the tanks were lying. And the tanks sometimes lie. Deceptive pieces of technology that they are. Like, potentially there's someone, say, inside here, or there's someone here, and they'll turn around the corner and shoot us. I don't know, anything like that, where, like, the line of sight wasn't quite right, so we don't quite see them. I'll set up these guys for a firing squad. I could use the experience. If my sit if yeah, if I can words if my theory is correct, all of the guys on the sides will be needing the experience. So we're gonna give it to them. And I think I'll get the um 
Wow, that was not what I expected. I'll get the experienced guys to um, get outside, take care of all the outside threats. Because outside threats are riskier. There's a lot more unknown terrain, there's a lot more places they can ambush you. Uh, it's just... it's just riskier. These guys are playing suits and they're healthier and they have better reactions and they're more accurate so... Chances are they'll be fine. If it comes to it. I just want to make sure they're not too close to the UFO door. Over here. Otherwise they might get shot out of the air. From like, their side or something. And if they get shot from the side then it was not much armor. Because armor's strongest at the front and weakest underneath. Slightly weaker at the sides and slightly weaker again at the rear. So always face the thing that you're expecting to shoot you, if you can. A lot of movement, but I still don't see anything. That's pretty unusual. Um, might be some dudes in this building here. Yes? I don't know what that is. That is pretty weird. It's... I still don't know what it is. It's a boy, it's... Snake Man. Okay. These two dudes on the ground will figure out how to shoot that. I think they can do it. They just need to destroy the hedge first. Well, I think I'm asking too much. I think the accuracy is not up to the standard that I need for this particular shot. But we'll give them a chance. That's some good hedge destroying. It's a good start. No, nope, never mind. Death Squad, move up. Maybe just move up a little bit, not too much. Because you want the uh, aliens that shoot us back to not actually kill us. Where'd my other guy go? Wait, did I? Oh right, there's an offset. There's the legs in the way. Yeah, I want my my guys on the far left of this death squad to be able to still see the see the door. And I'll get the second tank to keep scouting around. Nothing exciting. But again, there was a lot of alien movement, so. Not sure what's up with that. Mm -hmm. And again. That was a bit less movement that time. Still. Can't see him. Uh, fly a little closer. Fly up. He's not there, he's gone. Okay, well. Well, over here. Bam. Oh, you're still seeing him, okay. Um, get this guy to do some more... What? Oh, there's a guy outside. Okay. I guess we'll shoot him. With the... Lesser guy for us. It's just a pistol, so it's not a threat. Um, and the other guy we saw downstairs had a stun launcher. So, like, that's even less threatening, especially for a tank. We just need to get vision of them again. And since the tank took the damage, I'm gambling it probably won't be able to kill them. Hello. There he is. Perfect. Kabam. Wow, that was actually a pretty good shot. What? Maybe the hedge is in the way. And now it should be right clear. Right? Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Nice. Alrighty then. There's a th another guy right there. Hmm. Whoops. Not damaged. You can't see what he is holding. That's fine. We shall get Senior Tanky to take a look. 
You see the same guy? How? There's literally a wall in the way. The hell? Maybe he's seeing his head? Because he's on the stairs? Okay, we see the guy downstairs, that's good. No, but seriously, <laughs> we can't see this guy. There he is, alright, let's just shoot. Oh, it's just a rifle, I guess we don't need to shoot him yet. If he manages to kill a tank with a rifle at that range, then he deserves the kill. Rifle, plasma rifle does, I think, a hundred and... 10 damage, and the way damage works, it will roll so that it averages 110, it goes a little bit higher and a little bit lower, but my front armor is 130, and I have 90 health, so like, do the math, it's not easy to kill me. Not with that weapon, at least. If there's another guy with a heavy plasma hiding somewhere else in the building, then, you know, that's going to be a lot more lethal. Heavy Plasma I think does 135, so on average it actually does damage through armor. And if they are lucky, they do a lot of damage through armor. Uh, so we get these guys to just start blowing up the wall. That is some good shooting. Except for that last shot, that, well, that was a bit more disappointing. Now they have land fire. Well, at least he does. The guy next to him might not. I guess we'll find out soon enough. It's really weird that the, um... All of the aliens outside spawned in this specific building. Not, not more scattered. Well, that hit. Just didn't kill him. He might be lethally wounded. Maybe. Also, he seems kind of... Never mind. I was gonna say he seems kind of stuck, but then he shot my tank. Guessing he's not stuck. Tank's fine though, so that's not a big deal. Finish the job. Take him out. I should probably get the other guy to take the shot. Too late. <laughs> the other guy needs to experience more. That's fine. I'm, I'm pretty confident that's all of the guys outside. So it's just your four guys left. I'm surprised they're not coming out. It's been ten turns. Twelve turns. Is there a hole in the ship anywhere? No. <laughs> Maybe it's a single guy and he's just really scared. I don't know. Usually they would come up by now. Here we go. Heavy plasma, so that's a problem. a lot of shots. And it says another one. And he just heard like a dozen laser rifle shots, so he should be really scared, but clearly he's not. There's a third guy inside. Holy crap. Okay. We'll we'll wait. Good shot. There's a fourth guy inside! Oh my god. Is that a pistol? It is a pistol. There we go. Alright. So the ship was busted up because we didn't get a power source and we didn't get, um, Illyrium. That, that kind of sucks. Tracking lost? What the fuck?
Oh, we ran out of a um, radar range. Alright, so just go like there. That should be fine. We got the stuff? Yes, we get the stuff before the ship arrives back, which technically doesn't make sense, but it doesn't really make any balance difference. It's just inconvenient. Oh, are we catching up? 2500 versus 2400, so I mean, yes, technically, very slowly. Very, very slowly. So I'm not convinced that you'll find it there, try going there. Um, there. Be closer to land. Oh. Please get over land. Hello. Okay, so the original one was actually correct. South America, we have a present for you. It's a UFO. Your very own. We might accidentally blow it up. Nope, crash land. Perfect. This guy on the other hand... is still over water. And my ship here is an interceptor, not not a um, retaliator, so it, it runs at 2100. So technically this UFO is actually faster than it. The UFO has to slow down first, like that. And we might as well just go aggressive. It's a small... Small, very small UFO. It's only one type of very small UFO, and it always gets destroyed by a plasma hit. So, might as well go aggressive. Intercept that in a sec. the flying suits use? Doesn't say. Um, I think power suit was 5 and 5, Illyrium and um, Alien Allies. I think flying suit was more Illyrium, like it was 15 or 16. Like I'm just, I'm just thinking about that and worrying about our Illyrium reserves. Although we have a base to raid as well, so I guess that's not too much of a concern. Let some time pass by, and we'll go South America. Shit, we're too fast. We're actually too fast. Just, just sit there until the sun rises. That'll do. Off we go. And I need to super duper remember not to go into debt, otherwise we lose the game. <laughs> or not to get into debt, specifically at the end of the month. Any other time it doesn't make a difference. In the long term. Jungle is always fun. What do we got? Uh, nondescript aliens. I think it's a snake man. Oh, he's angry. Yeah, Snake Man. Hello. We've come to kill all of your kind. Do not worry. Wait, what? Really? He didn't get revealed? That's pretty lame, dude. We'll see if it was tiny. Um. Let's ignore the smoke. And just two things. Pretty small UFO, and I've already found two people, so chances are it's a pretty low risk environment. Make line of fire, I believe in you. Those are actually really accurate shots. Oh, close. 
Wow. You got a lot of XP. Uh, Palav? Palav? Don't know how to say it. You are up, my friend. Got him down. Do you have line of fire? Yes, you do. Pretty good shots. There we go. Alright. Get all the V. Actually, you don't need the experience, you're fine. We'll get the rookies. <laughs> Sergeants. People with a need for experience to be towards the front of the ship. Okay. Of a tank, you can see them perfect. Juzu, take him out. No land fire. Okay, so for some reason you can shoot this guy, but you can't see him, even though your land fire isn't blocked. That doesn't really make sense to me, but I will take it. I will not complain too much about it. Just a little bit. Kind of not doing too hot there. Camille, you're up. Also not doing too hot. You hit right behind him. Alright. Uh, who needs it more? 63, 55, you do. Well, congratulations, that means you get to take the shot. With your lack of line of fire. Still lack of line of fire. You're up anyway, because the other guy apparently can't hit it. I'm guessing the tree right next to him is in the way. Doesn't look like it is, but I guess it is. Uh, head over there. Gasan, you are in dire need of some experience. Wow, okay. That was very off target. But somehow you managed to land two consecutive shots on the guy and he didn't die. That is unlucky. Matthew. Go for it. I believe in you. That might be the last guy, honestly. It's a pretty small ship. Wow. Yeah, I really thought you would be able to finish the job, but clearly not. Jan. Oh god. Well, you got the job done. Nope, there's more. <laughs> Tank reaction shots. Nice. Uh, Halev and Matthew. I'll let you guys do the honors. Well, you hit him. He's dead. Alright, that might be it. No, nope, still not it. Still one more. At least. Whoops. <laughs> I tried to click the other hover tank. Did not work out. That's fine. Hello. That's not a very nice way to greet your friends. Um, Matthew, take the shot. Wow. Good shooting. There we go. <gasps> the power source was intact. Ooh, that's really good. Um, 
All right, that one got destroyed. I'm thinking I might wrap this up early, but we're gonna do the base next. But I probably won't stream for the next few days because it's the weekend and I have other things to do during the weekend. <laughs> but maybe we'll see. So I'll do. I'll keep playing until something pops up. I'll take care of it and then we'll call it a night. Chilean South America. It's going pretty fast though. Some more engineers here. South America? Yeah. Okay. We might lose tracking while he bridges the gap, yeah. Wait, you don't have a ship. Shit. I keep forgetting. Uh no, that's fine. Retaliator might get there faster, even though it's further away. Yeah. Yeah it will. Alright, go home. Da -da -da. Down. Rush land, alright. So, I will end that early. Thanks for tuning in. The whole one person that watched. <laughs> <laughs>